Hi there, this is Jason Josselson. I'm the concept design architect. Today we're going to be speaking about how to find inspiration when you're taking on a new project and you're approaching new deadlines. How do you find that inspiration? Sometimes just like writers suffer from writer's block, architects also suffer from design block. So today I'm going to speak about how I deal with design block in the architectural field because I'm designing on a weekly basis and I have a way that I reinvigorate my process and I'm going to explain that to you right now because it's something that really can stunt you when moving forward and also when there's a lot of stress surrounding a situation. So normally what happens to me at the beginning of a project I kind of get this overwhelming fear that takes me over and I freeze and I'm not, kind of not sure what to do next and I always remember to go to Pinterest.com Pinterest.com is an image search engine on the internet. It's a fantastically powerful search engine and all it deals with is imagery and the subject matter based on that imagery. So if you're an architect or an interior designer or someone that specializes in design, you can find images on every single topic that you can think about. Pinterest has artificial intelligence where it knows what you're looking for and finds similar buildings, interior spaces, etc. So when you are looking for imagery, you can basically pick up on similar stuff and you can hone down on your search. So the best way to actually see Pinterest is to actually use it. So basically you just need to go to Pinterest.com by typing Pinterest.com in here and obviously it will take you to the website. And then you need to register yourself an account. And I'm not going to show you how to register account because it's pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is we're simply going to do a search. And you'll see that this is the Pinterest interface. It's pretty, stra pretty straightforward. And we're just going to go to the search here. And we're going to say modern homes in the jungle. Let's see what happens. And it's going to bring us a whole lot of images and obviously um, you could type in the desert in the jungle but right now we're taking a look at homes in the jungle and you can see there's just the most amazing imagery that's popped up here now you may decide that one of these images is really something interesting to you like for instance this one attracts me but you can go and take a look at other images you don't have to focus on one for instance this is another image that kind of attracts me and so on and so forth. So you'll be attracted to ideas and you can really start to drill down into your ideas. So let's firstly go into this one over here and we are going to go and take a look at it. And it's amazing. There seems to be some sort of river there in the background and this outdoor sort of uh, patio area. And then you can see underneath this particular image that there are other images, associated images that are similar that have popped up. So now you can start to hone in on your search. So for instance, this image here really intrigues me and I'm going to click on it. And if I do like this image, I can save it. And there's a folder or a virtual folder on Pinterest system and you can start to save the images that sort of give you that feeling, that compelling feeling to move forward. And you can see this virtual sort of experience of inspiration can just absolutely drive you. I mean, how's this for an idea? This koi pond, this sort of like Thai climate over here, Thailand. It looks like Thailand. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's just really amazing. I'm going to save this image. That's something I'd love to put into my house and uh, that I'm designing. Maybe you're designing a house in the jungle or maybe you're looking for some landscape ideas it's just incredible so you can start to save these landscape ideas because this is really going to drive your design process for instance here's a great idea over here he has a great idea over here and you can start to save those ideas to drive your process maybe it's a water feature in your new residential house that you're doing for a client and what I wanted to suggest to you guys is that there's also a huge benefit to your client. And what I'm saying by that is your client can also use Pinterest to communicate to you what your client wants. And really, at the end of the day, there's no 
need just to use words anymore you can come onto pinterest if you're the client or if you are looking for inspiration and you can start to discover some amazing things about what you would like to put into your design so that's really it for pinterest what i wanted to suggest just last is i want to show you an amazing tool within pinterest and it's this little zoom sort of icon over here if you click it you can hone in on ideas it's a magic box and you can select for instance you want the water coming out of this tap you want to see other ideas throughout pinterest that have similar sort of detailing and you can see over here it started to bring up more ideas with regards to the spout of water obviously this is an amazing sort of detail another amazing detail so you can start to glean the most amazing lateral ideas of thinking and that's really it for pinterest guys pinterest is a powerful place to come and start to get inspiration here once you've got inspiration go back to your design table start designing obviously there are all types of inspiration there's obviously planning inspiration if you want planning inspiration and you can also type that in you can find some plans you can also type in styles of perspective presentation there's so many things permutations that you can get out of pinterest and you just need to be creative in your searches so there fellow design architects that's pinterest for you if you really found value in my video please won't you make sure that you subscribe and also smash that like button leave a comment please that would be great and i look forward to seeing you in our next session